Hello, everybody. Okay, so. What's up, guys? Um, this is it's... a... Yeah. You talk okay, first. Okay, yeah. Talk, yeah. Talk, talk. No, 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 You introduced the topic. <sighs> the topic of the day for a Game Not stream with me and Aaron, because Todd's not here, because <laughs> nobody likes Todd, um, is Naughty Dog revealing a new game in development, which is exciting. Okay. Because so for you guys that, by some stretch of imagination, if you live in like Saudi Arabia under a rock with Helen Keller, <laughs> by some odd chance, do not know who Naughty Dog is. Well, they sir. created Crash Bandicoot, The Last of Us, Uncharted. Oh my God, Naughty uh, Dog is beautiful. Actually, I don't know what other. Games to talk about Crash Bandicoot, you know, the first three <laughs> games came out in, in, I think it was less than three years. Because when the yeah, second was... one was being, um, I, th I think if I can look into it. Yeah, they released in, um, Naughty Dog only held Crash Bandicoot until 99. Yeah, I still have the first Crash Bandicoot you gave me. Oh, do I? Did I give that to you? Yeah. So, yeah, um, the news on it is, um... Uh, following the development of Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, the leadership at uh, PlayStation exclusive developer Naughty Dog split its studio into two teams, which um, they're fluid and they often go back and forth between project as needed. And uh, Sony's most important studio are now working on two projects concurrently. Um, the structure gave us Uncharted 3, and apparently it's arguably the best uh, PS3 game as The Last of Us, so that's what happened with them. Uh, Uncharted 4 is in I development. I would say, okay, I'm throwing this out here. I would say people treat The Last of Us as the Breaking Bad of video games. Because I thought it's it was slightly good. overrated, but it's fantastic. Oh, it's fan it is. Like, the way that, yeah, like, the way that Breaking Bad works is it's like, I don't remember what TV show I saw this in, but it was like, uh, I think it might have been Family Guy. Uh, it was, he was watching The Walking Dead, or it was either The Walking Dead or Breaking Bad, and instead of act the actual show, it was just, like, a voice saying, like, tell people to watch this show. Yeah, 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 it was Family and Guy. Yeah, 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 it was, it's like that, but, like, obviously it's not. Oh, like, I played Last exact... of Us for a little bit, because Andrew owned it, and, um, yeah, and I played it a bit, and it was, it was good. Oh, I can understand why people <laughs> liked it. I wish I had yeah, it was, gone more into it, but. I don't know if maybe it's the person that I watched, because I remember watching it on DSP's channel, mm -hmm. but people are calling it a beautiful game, and it looks great, don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah. But I, I can't put my finger on it, like, maybe it's just because I didn't experience it for myself. Yeah, you know but what? But it had kind of like a Borderlands look, like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, you know how Borderlands it's had a, that kind of, like, cartoony look? That's, like, yeah. It had, like, outlines and shit? Well, yeah. Maybe, maybe that's, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. But, um, like, the game looked great, don't oh, get me yeah, wrong. yeah, no, it's honestly. Like... You know what it is? It's got that, um, I think it's that atmosphere that it has, kind of like, um, Portal 2. Yeah, the I atmosphere think... just fills a game with, I don't know. Uh, I do know that the characters and, like, <coughs> development of story was important, and that really just made you grow into it. And, um, yeah, yeah that's, it's just what I've heard, but I've just... I just know that this game seems amazing. And honestly, it looks beautiful yeah, I... and atmospherically. So, um, so from as I'm reading here, uh, uh, we're looking at The Last of Us 2, uh, could be a return to, um, Jack and Dexter, um, there's no oh chance, God, yeah, uh, there's no chance that, um, we're getting crashed, though, because right now, oh my lord, I'm sorry, I have to bring this up, but if, I, up. if there's any racing fans watching this, uh, actually, no, Forza Horizon 2 just released a new trailer, and I am extremely psyched. Excited! It's hands-on, by the way. Um. So while well, yeah, I'll have to watch this after. Oh yeah. Um. From Jesus Christ, we're looking so at uh, looking at E3. We have um. Let's see. Let's see what uh, Batman <laughs> Arkham Knight didn't they just re release Arkham City? Was it not, or is this just? They, I think they released Arkham City last year. Um. Oh, four. Uh, four. Far Cry three or four is announced. Have you ever played the Far Cry games? I have not, oh, but I really God. wanted very, to try Far Cry very 3. Very, good. Because um, I have heard great things about them. Steven actually had it, um, and we played it at his house. And I, I just really good RPG FPS. Um, yeah, I've heard Borderlands it, so. quality, definitely. Story-wise, <coughs> I think there's two endings of it. And um, honestly, 
No, it's just it's a good game. Get it if you can. Um, totally yeah, worth I it. Yeah, I really want to, but yeah. um, no, no. I've heard it's kind of like a mix up between Fallout and Just Cause. Yeah, because Just Cause Two had that open world. This and also it's has kind of like, world. and I heard it's also kind of like Fallout in the like the RPG element. Yeah, honestly, play it, play it, and you'll just kind of like connect it with other games. But it's so good. Um. And um, off to Naughty Dog, it's, it looks they only owned Crash from uh, 96 to 99, and then it went off to Eurocom, Traveler's Tales, Vicarious Visions, which uh, they made Crash to Insanity. <coughs> yeah, so they knew what they were doing. Crash to Insanity. Dimps, Twin Renegade Insa- Kid. Twin Sanity, what? Twin Sanity. Twin Sanity. Twin, did I say Twin Sanity? No, I said Twin Sanity. Oh, I saw, yeah. Like, I do yeah, love. Twin Sanity. Yeah. Like, Crash and Cortex just turn into gr- green salads. That would be wonderful. That would be a good game. Yeah. That would be the weirdest game ever. Yeah. So instead of, like, them rolling around fighting each other when you have to do, like, the, uh, well, the missions where they're rolling around and fighting each other, yeah. it would just be a head of lettuce. That would be weird. <laughs> exactly. Um, it looks, yeah. Um, they only did the first three games, Naughty Dog, but honest, obviously the third one was probably the best one. In the original oh, three, like, uh, and you know it's cool because they were all released within. Um, the third, the third one was warped, right? Yeah, they called it warped, but um, yeah, in the warped, intro, it kind of threw in the clock and uh, showed the three. So, um, oh, that's I what I'm. Notice that subliminal messages. Um, can I talk about something? Oh yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm. PC elitism. PC elitism. What is your view on it? You mean like somebody who's People... who's so overhyped somebody... about it's like PC gaming? It's like a. Yeah, it's almost like a racism thing, but it's not racism. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, someone who, like, says, like, consoles are terrible, you know. I, Xbox is, like, nobody... Screw Xbox, screw PS3, screw PS4, no, screw yeah. Xbox One. It's all about PC. But it's, like... Really? Honestly, that is really stupid. Um, Don't like, get me wrong. Um, I love okay. PC gaming. It's, it's probably, like, my top PC, line of whatever. Yeah, PC gaming is great because... Not only can you have, like, your own graphical proportions, which is great. Yeah. You get great, amazing deals from Steam. Oh, my God. Awesome. Like, um, just yesterday, or, no, yesterday, a couple of days ago, uh, Payday 2 was having their free <coughs> weekend. And um, and we, we checked it out, and it was fantastic. It's a fun-ass oh, game. it's perfect. Unfortunately, our PCs aren't exa- or our computers really are They're not even gaming PCs, really. Yeah, no, this is not a gaming PC. Obviously, you guys, if you this watch... Is- uh, if you watch any of like game knots or any of my let's plays on the side, yeah, none of our none of our things are really high end. Yeah, sp- like Portal Two is probably the most high end game that's on game knots right now. Yeah, definitely. Um, cause yeah, it is the most high end game right now. Like, yeah, like our computers aren't like the worst. Even I run the I run their powerhouses. Yeah, I- their powerhouses of like. Like what's what's your, what is your computer? Uh, it's the Pavilion P two eleven twenty. I mean, granted, all right, so, it's not the best. If I had more yeah. RAM, I, trust me, I'd be happy. But um, <laughs> I don't. So what I have, um, what I have figured out though with Payday two is I can run it mostly on the highest settings if the resolution is crap. But I already have the resolution on crap anyway, and it still looks fine. It doesn't even look like the resolutions change. Maybe some things aren't yeah. as smooth, but. In the end, we played the game over the weekend and we said, we have to get this. It's so fun. So we each got a copy and I only paid $20. Oh, by the way, it was 66% off, but go on. Yeah, it was, it was, we both, uh, I both got us a copy and it was $20 total. Um, and the game, I think if I, let me check the store page really quick. If I was correct, it yeah, was the about... the game originally, I believe, is about 30 bucks, but there was a 67% off Steam Yeah, it's sale. 30 bucks originally. We got it for 20 so we got, t- um, two. We got two copies. Yeah, two brand, brand new copies. Um, and that's twenty dollars. That's less than the actual game, and we got two of it. So, yeah. Um, what else? What was I? What was I just? You were talking. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a weird. There's a weird graphical quality about Payday Two. You see, like what? And we have we have low budgets. Obviously, we don't have gaming computers. Yeah, which is we'll, fine. We'll end up getting some in the future. Yeah, obviously, when money. Right now, yeah, money is obviously it's, not a thing for us. So yeah, I would say not like throwing anyone, not throwing Lucas under the bus here, but like. My computer, my, 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 like, gra- or, um, I think it's just my RAM and maybe my graphics chip your and shit. Chips, your chip's is better. It's a little bit, is, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit better, but the thing is, I can run Payday 2 at the absolute lowest quality, and then I can, ul- I can max out Payday 2, and it's literally the exact same frame rate, and it's, it's not, yeah, weird. I run Actually, it at no. lowest resolution, yeah, highest quality. I think max quality. is a little bit lower, but, yeah. Yeah. Like, I think, honestly, I, I don't care that my computer isn't <coughs> super high-end. It gets the job done. 
Yeah, it, it works. An- it works another game, actually, I would like to mention that we just checked out Gotham City Imposters. Gotham City, yes, Gotham City. The, we, um, Aaron was just kind of looking for free games because, like, you know, that's what Steam's about. They got the free games, and yeah, and um, we found that and you can give it a try. Yeah, I remember seeing it back when I like I saw it on the Xbox dashboard. And I'm like, that looks really interesting, but I didn't have any money to check it out. So seeing it on yeah. Steam for free was kind of cool. Well, yeah, the free to play though is it's um it's, I think it's kind of pay and play to win. Um, obviously it was not designed free to play because graphically it's pretty advanced. Um, you know, and it's it's which surprised me at first. I honestly thought it was going to be silly cartoony, and then I thought, oh, it's a first person shooter. Um, yeah, and it actually like has like yeah. Yeah. But, you know, the main concept is just a bunch of, you know, basically dorks dressed up as Batman and Joker going around killing each other, which, you know, I, I guess is an it's issue. It's pretty funny. Yeah, it's, it's fun. A, it's, a, it's a good satire to the Batman. Oh, yeah. It's, it was fun, it's yeah. Series? Batman series? Uh, Batman image? Yeah. Uh, Gotham. Yeah, Gotham. What's that? Gotham. The Go Razor ham. Jungle Cat. What the what, hell is this? What? Um, I'm checking on Facebook, and this is the mobile game controller for the iPhone 5 5S from Razer. It's called the Jungle Cat, and you put your phone right, in. Let me, let me check this. Yeah, I'll, I'll link you. Right. I think I remember seeing this. Yeah, I th- they just posted about it. Take a look at that. Um, it looks really stupid, to be honest. Um. Oh, for it's, it's for like an iPhone, right? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's yeah. That's, I saw those in Target, but I don't think it was Razer brand. But yeah, this man. is Razer brand, and it's fully customizable. Sorry, but I'm um, gonna give my honest opinion on mobile yeah, what, gaming. What games are you gonna play that involve uh, like thumbsticks on an iPhone? I guess some. I, I guess that'd be easier to control, like Sonic, because they do have Sonic games <coughs> on there. But speaking of Sonic, oh, let me tell you some no, no. another reason why uh, Steam Blues. You know, actually. Mind. Let me let me throw this out here. Um, this looks exactly like a PSP Go. It does. It really yeah, does. Okay. Anyway. Um, but uh there's a good portion of Sonic games on the um on Steam. Yeah. And um so in order to get them, I wanted some. And um I was looking and I found this deal. I got every Sonic game um on the Steam market, which is Sonic 4 Episode 1 and 2, Sonic Generation, Sonic CD, Sonic and Sega um, All-Stars Racing and Racing Transform, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Adventure DX, um, Sega Genesis and Mega Drive Master uh, Classics, which is just um, all the Sonic games released on the Genesis. And I got all of that, and I saved, um, I saved, I think it was like 230 some odd dollars, and I only spent $30 on all of those games. Really? And Sonic Generations is fairly new. Like, I'll read you the starting price for it on Steam right now. And the starting price for Sonic Generations is $30. <laughs> um, oh, pardon my cough, by the way. Oh, but I pay, I'm sorry. I paid about 50 It's 50 now. It was on sale when I got it. Um, it's $50 now. I paid 38 You save um, $95.44. I thought I saved more. Oh, and you do get DLC, too, by the way. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle and the Metal Sonic Pack. Um, so, I mean, that's nice. Seriously. Seriously, it was good. I saved a good amount of money. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, I saved, like, I'm sure. That's a really good deal. See, Steam's, like... That's why I like it. Honestly, because... Yeah, Steam, um, by the way, Blacklight Retribution just finished down. Oh, we should play that soon. Um... Alright, yeah. I'm totally... Uh, talk about a game really quick, and then I have one more game I want to talk about, or two more games I want to talk about. What game, what game should we talk about? Uh, one that I actually would like to talk about, um, that we could talk about (coughs) together before I go on to the other game that I want to, uh, Team Fortress 2. Aaron okay. has been starting to play it a, a bit more with me, and yeah, t- Lucas just Lucas is just no liking TF2. <laughs> <for the moment. laughs> I love TF2. Um, <coughs> it's the first free to play end game I ever owned on Steam, and um, my buddy Corey showed it to me, and um, I fell in love with it because I'm not the kind of guy who likes Call of Duty games. I mean, I don't know what it is. Just something about it is it just seems repetitive. The community just freaks out on. Um, Honestly, as soon as I played it, I realized it required a lot of cooperation with everybody, and I loved it because I also met a lot of cool people on it. And, you know, honestly, it's one of my most logged games. I have 174 hours on it. Um, It's so fun. I don't know. I don't know how you feel about it. I think... uh, It's fun, but it's definitely a learning curve. Oh, my God, yeah. Like, I'm not even a professional at it. It's... Same with guns. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. 
We could talk about guns if you wanted, yeah. Yeah, we can talk about Talk guns. about it, because so, i got one more game left that I want to mention. I would consider myself a grizzled veteran of guns. <laughs> the Duel. The first Guns the Duel. For those of you that don't know what Guns the Duel is, it's a really, 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 really fast-paced game. Yeah, yeah. Um, The first one came out. It was developed by Myatt Enter- Myatt's was it? Entertainment, which is... 2000, I don't it's even 2003, know. right? Yeah, t- or 2003, 2002... Um, and I started playing it, I'd say, around 2006, because what I used to do, I used to, it used to be on EG, IJJI, and, uh, I got into it through my cousin, who not only played guns, but also this game called Gunbound Revolution, which is a really cool strategy game where you, like, where you have tanks and you have, to, uh, it's really hard to explain, like, I'll show you all this after the podcast. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, go look up Gunbound Revolution, by the way, it's a really fun game, and I believe it's still... It's in like its eighth, ninth, tenth season. Is it? Hmm. <coughs> and um, yeah, Guns the Duel. I've been playing that game for probably nine uh-huh. years, close to nine years, longer than I've been on YouTube. Yeah, and I started. Um, Aaron mentioned it to me, and I started playing. <coughs> and honestly, yeah, definitely a learning curve like TF2. Uh, you just gotta really think your uh, shit through and go right to it. Yeah, Maybe quick and the too. Thing, the thing that's about the thing about. Like, it's a straightforward shooter. Like, yeah. it's nothing, like, on the surface... Arena shooter. If you really... Yeah, yeah, it's, if, arena. yeah it's, a, it's an arena shooter. If you really look at it from, like, a... If, from a technical standpoint, like, let's just... Let's just, let's say it's 2003 here. If you look at it from, like, a 2003 standpoint, before there were all these weird styles and K-styles and D-styles, which are basically game glitches, which, um... They're game glitches, and they're ways that people play that are really really defensive and offensive at the same time and it's freaking crazy go look up like k-style keyboard movements and it's the most ridiculous thing i've ever seen in my life honestly he showed it to me and i was like whoa okay (laughs) yeah back before yeah it's like it's literally it's literally like watching someone play world of warcraft that's just amazing at the game like it's just (laughs) non-stop key pushing but um Um, what was i okay let's take it back to say 2002 it's a really technical game but it's also very easy to understand because yeah. basically all you get is kill experience, kill experience, weapon kill. Yeah, kill experience. experience. It's it's really it's really it's really you know if there it's it basically the whole community is it's it's just exploiting glitches now. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah. Take take all that out of the game, and basically what you have is an arena shooter, which it which was unique at the time and it's very fast paced. I love it. I do. It's it's fun. It's very fun. Yeah. Unfortunately, the original, the origin, I, yeah, the original area games, I believe, has been taken off. Which instead of EG, it moved on to area games. Yeah. But uh, Guns the Duel Two, your Guns the Second Duel. Guns Two, the Second is, Duel. Yeah, it's on Steam. It's free to play. Insane graphical update, to be honest. Um, it's it's really, really, really weird how it works. Um, th- no, because in order to play it on ultra, it's it's insane. There's a lot of like, shading, a lot of anti-aliasing. There's a lot yeah, you from have, the original. Yeah, you cannot really, you can't. It's you need a supercomputer honestly can, to run that. Yeah, but the thing that sucks about it is there's no graphical options. There is. You got to go advanced, but even then they're very poor. Yeah, it's like. It's not like something like Half Life or Grand Theft Auto Four, yeah, or you know that, or like even Call of Duty COD Four has really, really, really like adjustable graphical yeah, properties. Yeah, even so TF Two, the Source the, Engine has yeah. great graphic options. Like, okay, how do you want your models? <coughs> yeah, it's, and it'll adjust them yeah. accordingly, and they still look really good. Where this, no, it's either you run it on low or you're running it on high. There's like barely yeah, any in between. Yeah, and this is one of those games where it's like it's sixty, it's at least sixty FPS or nothing. Because you need to know what's happening at any given time. Yeah. So, honestly, good game. Second one, eh, it's alright. They added a bunch of extra stuff that wasn't needed. But it's, the first if, one, if you're, check it out. Yeah, if if you're such an elitist to Guns 1 like I am, then you probably won't like Guns 2. I, because yeah. it's like, my guns, how it used to be, is like your TF2. Yeah. Because it's like, from what I remember, the first Guns, it was like... uh. All of the all of the really good weapons and armor were premium. Yeah, and that's... if you didn't buy it, like it's kind of dumb because I don't know if this is like it on TF2. Well, but it's like instead of buying it, you're leasing it. You're leasing the item. Um, 
for like a bump for like a month, like thirty days. Like yeah, it's weird. TF two is um. When it comes to premium, it allows you to trade weapons in game with random players, not just your friends. Um, you get hats, you your droppage, you get a backpack expanders, you just get a bunch more. But if you had already pre owned the game before it was free to play, you already had that because the game is free to play. But the expansion to um, become a premium account, I believe, is if you buy I think five dollars worth of stuff in the store, maybe just one thing in the store, not much. So don't yeah. you don't have to spend much to become uh, <coughs> premium, and it's worth it. It you know it makes TF2 much more enjoyable with the community. Um, now the game I wanted to talk about was one I don't play often because I beat it, and uh, when I upgraded my operating system, it deleted my save, and that game is very stressful to go through because it's very quick. It's very uh, it's it really brings back <coughs> platformers. Do I know about this game? You may or may not. Um, I might mention it, and you might. Um, it's called They Bleed Pixels. I've heard. Okay, of it, but so I this game it. you play as a girl who goes to a school for troubled girls, um, a little goth girl, and she goes there and she finds a book and she gets cursed, and so she has insane, vivid nightmares of monsters <coughs> trying to kill her, and you have to make it through. And it takes yeah. platforming to a whole new level. There's jumps that you got to make. You got to fly off walls. And all this happening at one moment, um, you might have to start fighting enemies like these little octopus that fly at you. Uh, okay. You have to kill a bunch of enemies to advance. So it's a, it's a platformer. Is it a platformer? There, yes, it's a very difficult platformer. Okay. It's okay. it's quick. It's hard. Um, the final level really, really brings it balls to the wall, man. Like, when I beat the game, I felt accomplishment, honestly. Yeah. Um, uh, that's that. You should feel accomplishment in games. Cause, yeah, right? If like, you don't, then don't was it a good game? Sorry. Well, there. Okay, I'd like to talk about that because there's like I, different ways to describe a good game. Well, like, I mean, it was Grand a good Theft game. Auto Five. Grand Theft Auto Five isn't really a challenging game. Yeah. But you feel accomplished when you beat it because you beat it. The story yeah. is so good. Yeah. The uh, what kind of game are you gonna go? Um, what kind of game? Am I, I'm trying to think of what game I want to bully. Like it was a great bully. game all throughout, and I felt accomplished to beat Gary's ass because the whole time. He's there in the background taunting your ass. Spoiler alert. Spoiler if you alert. If, you've never, if you're just starting... Which, by the way, if you're just starting to play Bully, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, seriously. Um, that's another game that it's, me and Aaron played. It's like... It's underrated, but it's not. It was made by Rockstar. Rockstar. Yeah, it was definitely... Yeah, because like... Definitely Rockstar It was material. in like the prime... Like a, It was right after Grand Theft Auto San Andreas came out, which is like, you know, the smash hit yeah, mega hit. And if you played Grand Theft Auto, that was probably the one you played first. Mm -hmm, yeah, it was one of the ones yeah. I played first. It was, yeah, it was the first Grand... Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. I think I played Voice City for the first time when I was six, but that was, like, back when I couldn't play it. Like, I played it at my friend's house. Yeah. But the first uh, the first Grand Theft Auto I really got into was San Andreas. Yeah, where, um... Because my cousin got honestly, it. Honestly, like, as a kid, my mom really didn't let me play any of Mature games because... Yeah. She made me. She made him move on the bus. Yeah, because I, I mentioned it, yeah. I mentioned a no, game. No, because I mentioned, uh... I mentioned Metal Gear Solid 3. And I mentioned it to my mom about the game, and my mom said, don't sit near each other. like, I don't want you. I don't want you around she doesn't, that. She, she, honestly, I play more rated M games um, than ever nowadays, but like Skyrim, <laughs> I play all the time. I play Honest, EA. I honestly, play if I look at all of my games, I would say I don't have a single T-rated game. Well, actually, uh, no, Bully is T-rated. Um, but I don't own but Bully, Bully was the uh, Bully was like my first kind of full Rockstar game I got into. <laughs> And I had it for Wii because Scholarship Edition came out, and I fell in love with it. And um, I got it on PC when it was on sale. Um, my girlfriend bought us each a copy, and she loves it. She's logged 68 hours onto it. I'm like, good for you, hon. Honestly. I, can I can I talk about um, so good. games? I know I know consoles aren't really your forte. No, no, it's fine. But games that, games that require a hard drive, and I'm not talking about, like, storage space. Like, here, um, I'll... Oh shit! Whoops, I just took a picture in my leg. But um, Good job, Aaron. I'll send you a picture of exactly what I'm talking about because I bought Metal Gear Solid. You know what? 5 I watched Ground your video Zeros. on that. Yeah. Yeah. My Metal Gear Solid Five Ground Zeroes, and um, I couldn't play it because I didn't have a hard drive. Because a couple years ago, I raked together all the money I had to buy a new Xbox, and I bought the four gigabyte Slim, which works fine. You know, I, I it lasted. I have a excuse me. 
I had a thirty. I have a thirty-two gigabyte flash drive, which I use for most of and my that's storage. That's a form of storage hard drive. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like I have games like Grand Theft Auto Five, and uh, I have yeah, I have games like GTA Five where you need storage to yeah, play the game. That's ridiculous. But it does. But it doesn't specify what storage. Like you can. I just I have Grand Theft Auto Five on my hard dr- or my flash drive, but then there's games like uh like Metal Gear Solid Five, which obviously me being a gigantic Metal Gear head, like I've been playing these games for more than more than ten Aaron's years. Playing, I've never played one honestly. They're they're it's I just don't have the console. They're different. Like, they're different games. That, yeah, they're very different. They look fun though. But I want to get the Twin Snakes. It's it's oh it's so good. Yeah, I saw your oh. video and and I kind of thought about it. I'm like. That's ridiculous. He has a storage unit for it. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm pretty sure it's the coding that has to do with it. it. That's yeah. why it has to go on the hard drive or something. But it's and like, that's only really? one part. So hopefully that's fixed for part two. Did you ever get no, to play it? it? No, I guarantee it. Yeah, I, yeah, I played it. I I have a playthrough of it. Oh, my, do you? On my I'll have channel. to check it out sometime. Yeah, I haven't uploaded the whole thing because unfortunately my hard drive messed up and my HD PBR is old and it's worn out. And for some reason, uh, like, over the weekend, I was playing a lot of Steam. Like, I haven't turned on my... My Xbox is collecting dust right now. <laughs> yeah, and, me uh, and you have been playing out the butt. Yeah, uh, I have no idea why, but my PBR has randomly been turning on, and it's really confu- It's really concerning. Um, I don't know. Maybe I could take a look at it and try. Because um, me and Todd have to record um, things off the Wii anyway, and I have a 40, um, 480 uh, P cables for that. So, And I think the uh, Popage has one. So... Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna try to get myself an Elgato just because yeah, that really seems nice. to be, yeah, that just seems to be the premium thing to do. Like my PVR, it has great quality, hey, but I'm still playing on composite. What's yeah, up? I'm just saying, like, oh no, get, don't finish. No, what were you saying? Just I was gonna say, if I you didn't... don't use your um, hop hog, let me know, cause um, if we can use it for a little while, I'll break up some cash oh, and yeah, buy totally. it off you. Totally. Yeah, um, you know, we we want to move over to console because I have the Wii in here. Honestly, if I play video games, it's gonna be um mostly Nintendo classics. Uh, like I still own a GameCube for God's sakes. Uh, and you know it's nice. I don't have it plugged in or anything, but oh my God, game not Sonic Adventure Two. I'm battle. thinking that's honestly what I'm thinking as a that would be great. as a game knots kind of like me and Todd versus each other. I don't know what I would call it yet, yeah. but um yeah no seriously um, this has been fun. Yeah. I honestly want Todd to come on here next time, but dog is getting yeah it's been yeah, it's been really all right fun. yeah um honestly think is there... i'll upload this to twitch because i'm pretty sure i can't upload 15 minutes maybe i can i don't know but on game Nance's channel i think we have to upload a couple times first before we post our first podcast so um, i'll get around to that but this will go up on twitch i'll edit it i'll put it together and i'll upload it to twitch all right yeah um just sometime in the near future just um honestly record like uh i can record like um footage or whatever i can give you some oh, i was just gonna i was just gonna put like a a clean background people can watch it people can listen to this like people do with pka yeah 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 no honestly people that watch P- pka like i guarantee no one sits there and watches it for four hours they listen to yeah. it yeah because it's it's a podcast it's right ra- it's basically radio yeah all right yeah no that's all good um Sweet. Uh, next but, time, uh, probably we'll record Thursday, but right now, you know, Todd's not here. It's Tuesday right yeah, now, so, so we'll probably record again Thursday if Todd comes over. No, we should do, we should do this every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, we'll, we'll talk. We'll we'll discuss. All right. We'll discuss. So thanks, guys, a lot for listening. You know, it means a lot. Yeah, it's been really subscribe fun. to Aaron. Subscribe to me. Um, subscribe to Game Knots because we moved to a new channel. There's going to be an update video on my channel, um, and the videos will be up oh, for about another week. By the way. So. Not being egotistical, but please leave feedback on the logo because if it's good, I'll make an I'll make a new one. If it's not good, but, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, so so thanks a lot, guys. Seriously, <coughs> uh, keep in touch. Um, more game knots on the way this week. Um, no new episodes on my channel right now. Most likely by next week because we're I'm very inactive on my channel just because like I go through fa- oh I'll, I'll get into it later. Uh yeah, but right. uh, I'm pretty active. You'll see videos most likely weekly. Like I said, right now, um, I'm shifting game knots over to a new channel. So seriously, guys, check it out if you haven't yet. Uh, I put it up. I put some posts on Twitter about it. So again, check it out. Check out Aaron's channel. Check out my channel. I post TF2 and Left 4 Dead videos. Uh, you know, just me playing games and having a uh, you know a ballsy ass time. So, uh, and Aaron. Yes, and if you're if you're a graphics fan. Oh, hi, Aaron. I do a lot of graphics for. I do like speed arts and stuff, and I do. Uh, yeah. I'm really in, I'm I'm very 
the Call of Duty community is very friendly to me. Yeah. So if like Call of Duty and like sniping and trick shotting and stuff is not your thing, then don't come by my channel. But um, because I have a lot of that because that's just well, that's just, just what my you do. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. If you if you like things like uh, Crykan or Vanos, so like silly little edits and text flying across the screen and things being silly, come visit my channel. I'm just a goofy guy, honestly, when I play games. So check that out. And if you like let's plays, if you like things like Game Grumps or um, uh. Oh, Jesus. Like Rooster, Rooster Teeth. Teeth. Yeah, I'm sorry. I lost the name. Uh, check out uh, Game Knots because, honestly, it's just me and Todd be having a good time. And uh, that, seriously, thanks, guys, a lot. So me and Aaron will be posting these um, weekly on the Game Knots channel. That's where it'll be. Yeah, on the Game Knots channel. It'll be channel. here. Or, tw or our Twitch. Whichever one comes first. This will probably go up on Twitch yeah, first. Yeah, we will. And then it'll come on It'll come out on Game Knots, like, probably on a Saturday or a Sunday yep. when there's really no videos Saturday, to be made. Saturday, Saturday, because that's where right, I'm free. Yeah, Saturday. And um, um, we'll have like a little live stream special intro in case you missed anything. So we'll eventually get to live streaming again. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah. So. All right. Um. Yeah, guys. So again, subscribe, Aaron, me, Game Knots. Uh, you won't see any episodes on the channel yet. We're moving there. Aaron's making the thumbnails. We're kind of just. We're packing up. We're and, making everything look good. Yeah, we're good. packing up and moving. We're taking for the old apartment, moving into the new house. So we're getting there. Uh, just another week or two, that guys. Was a weird ass. It was weird. Anyways. So, all right. Thanks again, guys. Um, <laughs> we'll all see right. you guys next week. All, all right. right. Um. All right. So let's. All go. right. Peace out, game nuts.